the, the the best comparison I could think of in terms of Destiny versus Borderlands is Borderlands exciting there's depth there's characters they might be a little cliche at first but you know what they, at least they're there whereas uh, Destiny is just very draw very why you know it's just very why am I here the story is draw the which there is hardly none which is what makes it draw character attributes are draw you don't know who's who and none of them have personality and personality a character without personality just makes them bland as hell you got that problem going for you then you've got the whole objectives problem it's just you've got three objectives that are side quests that's it three objectives that's all you get yeah they might be in different areas but they're the same fucking objectives you've got either pick up stuff kill stuff or pick up more stuff and that's like a horrible way to set up your side quest so that I didn't like about destiny but with this you can they give you specifics you have to pick up specific items and sometimes you don't even have to pick up items I mean there's so many more things sometimes you have to knock things out of areas in order for those me mechanisms to come online um, The, the, the enemies are actually, they feel bigger in this game as opposed to, uh, ooh, yeah. But, uh, just everything about that game was horrible. And so when people try to defend it, I am not, I'm not very nice about it. I'm pretty savage, actually, pretty brutal. And it, the reason is because it's just a bad game. And I think it's sad when people are allowing themselves to be suckered in by trying to defend a poorly made game when they don't realize they're just being abused by the company that produced it. That they're ability to play that they, they're playing that when they could be playing something so much better I mean dying lights a decent game for what they offer it's not as crazy as borderlands but it's still a beautiful game it's a great game and it's done better than destiny yet one more game done in the style of destiny that's just better than destiny and I can't say it's all Bungie's fault. I'm pretty sure Activision had a lot to do with it, but let's be honest. It's, it's not about the blame. It, it's about the facts. There's a story here. There's a story in Dying Light. You know your objectives. And your side quests are not always draw. There's usually some actually innovative, really nicely done side quests side quests you actually find entertaining to do it's not like that with borderlands it's here grab this beacon okay we're gonna tell you to go grab something or kill something and you know what it is you know what that side quest is when you pick it up because it's so drawl that game is so drawl that they've literally written it out for you you know Whereas in here, it's just, you got to talk to the person, and it's more MMO feeling, I want to say, without it being an MMO, than even Destiny was. And that is sad. I think they just tried to do too much with something, and in the long run, when they chopped everything out, they didn't do enough with it. Destiny just was scrapped down, and Activision destroyed Destiny. They really did. They did everything they could to destroy Destiny, and they succeeded. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, look at this, man. This is... These are all areas, much like the area that I'm in. They're nice, big areas. Like, the area that I'm in, I haven't even shown you guys every part of it. But these are all very big areas. You're talking about Fallout... Fallout 3 size map 
and structure. Um, and yeah, you have load screens between these areas, but you know what? You don't mind it because there's so much to do in these areas. You don't have to deal with it all the time. And the whole bank schematic is nice to have too. I just, I found this game to be so much more fun. Anyway, tomorrow, keep an eye out. I'm going to be playing the uh, Borderlands pre-sequel and showing you some of the features in there that I would have loved to see in this game uh, for the PS4. Uh, because I think that even though they give you everything on this disc, I would have loved to see some of the features in pre-sequel at least placed into this game because it would have been pretty cool to see. That would have been a really cool feature to have since they were already pre-make packaging them with the, all the DLC. Why not throw in that grinder and the ability uh, and the ability to inspect players as well? Oh, those two things would have made Borderlands 2 awesome, man. And I actually liked. I love Borderlands the way it is, but still, it would have. I would have liked to see that in Borderlands 2. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, pre-sequel was kind of short, but it was still a good game, and it gave me essentially what I was asking for the entire time I was playing Borderlands is, why do I have to kill that Jack guy? Why can't I just play for him? And it, it actually delivered upon that, and in a way that you actually like Jack even more. I mean, I, if, if you're one of those people who liked Jack when he was an asshole... Because you like people like that and Archer and all that. Then, awesome. You understand exactly what I'm talking about. If you thought Jack was a complete asshole and you didn't really care about playing for him, then you're not going to understand what I'm saying. So, for those people, just know that I wanted to play for Jack instead of these crummy heroes. I've always been a villain guy. I've always liked villains. Villains just always get a bad rap for no reason. Always just misunderstood guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, that being said, good night, uh, you guys. Uh, this has been my little comparison to what I think of Borderlands and Destiny versing each other. There's just really no, there's no contest when it comes to it. It's Borderlands, hands down. Anyone who plays both games will agree with me. Uh, and if they don't, they they have problems um so yeah if you don't like me hit the subscribe button so you can hate for the future videos and if you like me hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and you'll get more videos that you can probably approve of or agree with so uh, like I said, the show's going to be going on. Tomorrow night I'm going to be doing pre-sequel footage. Uh, probably going to be talking a little bit about the Kojima versus Konami problem that's been going on and rumors circulating it. Uh, trying to get up to speed on the current news that I've missed out on giving you guys ever since the uh, problems with my internet and computer happened. So... Hit that like and subscribe. Don't forget and see you next time. Peace.